So the next very, very, very common thing in Schoology is going to be making an assignment. So there's a couple ways to make an assignment, and there's a lot of things that you can put in the assignment, whether you want it to be a file, a link, um, a video, an audio. There's so many choices. I'll show you them all. Um, I'll kind of focus on probably links and files mostly. The other thing is I would highly recommend that you do the grade setup. If you don't use the grade book in Schoology, to use the grade setup allows you to grade that assignment in Schoology that students turned in digitally. So if you don't do that, you could collect the assignment, but you couldn't really grade it in the Schoology's program that they have, which again I'll cover when we get to the grade book. So until I make that grade setup video, you either have to figure that out on your own or at least put some categories in there, even if you just put a category, because then you can at least choose it. And then if you put 20 points, you can grade it. In my summer chemistry, every single assignment, every single thing was in there, and I used the grade book. And it was really easy and really seamless for online education or hybrid or regular. So I really like it. Our school uses PowerSchool besides Schoology, so I would have to transport those grades over. All right? So let's talk about putting an assignment in. So get into your Schoology course. Here we go. So if you want to put an assignment in, and I'm actually going to add one kind of like it's the Schoology 101 course, you might be tempted to go to Add Materials and then this thing that says Add Assignment. I don't usually add it here and there's nothing wrong with adding it here, but sometimes I just feel like I have to add a few more things like the due date. And then again, here's that category that I was talking about. Right now I have none of them, so I would want to set that up. I personally like to add the assignment in the calendar because it's sort of on the date that I want it to do. It's just how I think. So let's say I want it to do the 20th, so I click on the plus in the right corner. Now, I've messed this up many times. It defaults to an event. That's the next video. Most of the time, that's not what you want. You want an assignment. And what you could do then is then you can have all of the same options that you saw before. Here's the due date, the time, which you can get rid of that. You can always change it also. Here's the category. I'm going to have to click ungraded at this point because I don't have any categories. You can do numeric or letter. Um, and then you can change the points here to maybe like, let's say 10. And then here's again where I can do an audio video recording. That's actually going to be part of my interacting in Schoology videos. So I'll save that for later. Resource means you'd go to your resources. Again, that's a little bit of a later video. Most of the time you're going to do a link or a file. So let's actually do both just to review that. So let's say I'm going to call this the, the P professional development checklist for 2020 for our teachers. Like maybe this is their assignment. I have it as a file and I have it as a link. So I'm going to do both just to kind of review that with you. So it's called Bayport. Here it is right there. I'm going to hit open and kind of show you again what that looks like. The other thing I might want to do is say complete the checklist by the end or before, maybe before you leave today. And then what you can do, put a period, and then I can highlight again checklist just to kind of review this. And then the link is, I can go back here actually, let me show you. Here's the link. So I'm going to hit um, copy. Whoops. And copy and then put it into here and hit insert. There we go. So there it is both both kind of ways. And then um, I'm just going to, yep, yeah, I'm ready to hit create. Again, there's other choices here. You can type, you can center, you can align. These are also similar to Google that I didn't think it was worth me taking time. As a science teacher, though, I do use the symbol in the equation a lot, which that's going to be kind of a separate video. I'll probably make just primarily for math and science teachers. You can put in a table and all kinds of other things that they have here. You can change the you know, the size of the font. So maybe you even want this to be, you know, a larger font. So you can do 16. Maybe you want it to be more like a heading. I don't know. Whatever you want um, to kind of do. And it can even switch to HTML if you're really interested in that. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to hit uh, click the create button. And then I actually added my own son, who's a Bayport student, to this course, just so you could sort of see what it looks like when it's in the calendar. So it'll pop up on the calendar. It'll also be right here if you want to go back and edit it. And if I click on it, it'll show things about the assignment. And this is, again, where you need to do the grade setup so that you could grade it. So right now, there's none received. There's my son. And you could have the ones that are graded on time, late. You can, again, do the same thing before. You can download this. You can view it. You can go to the link here. Lots of options here. There's even a grade statistics, grade info. 
Um, so you've got a lot of options here with assignments. And then once the students submit it, their names would be sitting here ready for you to grade. And in your landing page, what would happen is when your assignments rack up, which I had that happen in the uh, spring of 2020, there was a time right here it'll say assignments to be graded. I had, I think, 200 to 300 assignments to grade. So it'll show up to the students here and here. And then, like I said, I'll talk about updates. That's the last video. I like to put an update in there. And then you might also want to remind the students that that's what's due today. So again, in your week, you might say today in my learning activity, you might want to type in here or add that same checklist and kind of remind them that that's on your to-do list today. Plus, it'll also then be in the calendar. So you kind of, I kind of have a preemptive strike with my students. I have it three different places so they know what to do. The other thing is when you when we get to the gradebook videos, what will happen is this if this put was put in a category, it would show up in the gradebook. And I have all kinds of options here of things I can put in. Um, and I'll just pick on my own kid here. He didn't, just, you know, it's not graded yet in the, in the options that you have in here. The grade setup is probably the first thing I would definitely do when you uh, create your Schoology account when we get to that uh, those videos. And that will allow you at least to get those assignments that you can grade them. All right, last but not least, you know, if you change your mind on the points, you've got a lot of choices at the very end. So again, Schoology is kind of nice. Never really panic. You can always change things and unpublish it, copy to a course. And so let's say you change your mind about even the, to the total points. You can always go back and say, wait, I think I changed my mind. I want it to be five now. And you just hit save. You can change the date and it, it works really great. Okay. So that's pretty much it for making an assignment. And like I said, I like to use the calendar and you've got a lot of freedom to change things. So don't worry about that, especially with our students. I think they're being uh, quite understanding with all of us. And then the list is down here at the bottom. All right. I think I covered it all. I feel like this is a really big topic and I hope I got all the, the little choices you can do for an assignment. But again, until you kind of got a lot more of the course filled up or you get students turning stuff in, you can't quite see all the possibilities for those assignments. So once I get that those videos made, you're going to get to see what, what freedom you have with those assignments that you've made. All right. Good luck, teachers. Peace and stay positive and do some self-care. We're all going to need it in 2020 and 2021.